Hi, this is Colin with Maker Farm. In this video, we're going to show you how to upload the firmware to your printer board. Uh, the first thing you want to do is get your printer board. If you go ahead and plug it into your computer, you're going to see a light's going to go on, and then your Windows is going to install a driver for it. Um, once it's installed, if you go into your device manager, you're going to see right here I've got COM port 11 on my computer. And at that point, we could open up our printer face if we wanted to. Um, and then we could go ahead and connect to COM port 11 at 25, 250,000 baud and then hit connect. If I do this right now, it's going to come up and give me a minimum temp error um, because I don't have a hot end plugged into it. But that's just to show that we are connecting to it. Okay. Um, to upload firmware, you're going to either want to get a little boot jumper or just something metal. And you have two little boot pins right in the center of your board right here. If you just put the boot jumper on there, and then we have a reset button by your SD card. Um, if you press the reset button, what's going to happen is your computer is going to re-detect um, your board. But with the boot jumper installed, um, it's going to put it into bootloader mode. So now if you come back into our device manager and our COM ports, now it's on COM port 12, which is what we need it to be in. Um, your COM ports are going to be different, but you need the new COM port number and you need that boot jumper installed. And of course you have to press reset to get into bootloader mode. Then what you want to do is open your um, Arduino software. Um, we're going to open up the firmware that we want. So we're going to go to file open. And for this one, it's going to be different for, uh, it may be a little different for yours. Mine says Marlin underscore Prusa. Uh, yours will probably say Marlin underscore Prusa underscore EPCOS. Um, but if you open that up, there's going to be a file that's called the exact same thing. Marlin underscore Prusa or Marlin underscore Prusa underscore EPCOS. You're going to go ahead and open that up. And it's going to open it up um, in a new little window here for you. So I have it right here. If we go to our tools menu, we're going to want to go to serial port and select that new COM port that it's currently in, which for mine is COM port 12. Then we're going to go back to tools. We're going to go down to our board and we need to go down to the bottom and select bootloader CDC Teensy Lu slash printer board. Okay. There's another one farther up where it also says printer board somewhere. Um, you can't use that one. It says USB Tiny ISP Teensy Lu printer board that will not work. You need bootloader CDC um, Teensy Lu printer board, and of course this is for a Rev RevD board where it does not say printer bot on the back. Okay, that means that this is a CDC bootloader. So you can go ahead and click that to select that. We can come back in to make sure we have the right board selected, and we've got our COM port 12 selected. Um, at this point, all you need to do is just click your upload button. Um, it's going to go ahead and upload that to your board. Um, when we're done, all you need to do is remove the boot jumper and press your reset button. Or if you didn't receive a, uh, a uh, jumper pin for that and you were just connecting it with something metal, after you connect, touch it with something metal and press the reset button, you can let go. And it will go into your COM port 12. And then when you're done, you just press the reset button and it will go back to your COM port 11. Um, while this is uploading your configuration.h tab, which is the tab to the right, that's where you're going to go in and you can make any changes. You can select your thermistors. We'll go in there and do that right now. This still says it's uploading. This is a slow computer. Um, but you can come down here and you can see a couple of the things. So you can select your board. This one's automatically going to be set to 81, which is printer board. You can select your thermistors here. So we've got number six for our, our hot end, which is the default one. Right now, this is set to number six for the heat bed, which is the EPCOS 100K thermistor. Um, if you have a bag and it says um, something like the one 104GT-2, you would select number five. Um, and there's a couple other settings, but now you can see it says done uploading. Programmer supports the following devices, device code 0x44. Okay, it gave us that error message. Um, and that means it is complete. Um, if you have any questions or comments, you can make sure to go to makerfarm.com and we can answer those there for you. Thank you, bye-bye.